Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of A Walk with Walsh and I am so beyond excited because my dear pal Gabby Bernstein is here. Hi and guys. So, okay, I have to guys to tell you something. We haven't seen each other in years, but we were together when your first book came way, out. Way, way back. This is like 2010. Maybe nine, 2009. 2009. Well, 2010-ish, yes. It's, it's so crazy. So I am like beyond over the moon excited to actually be able to do this with you and then share this with our audiences of just spending some time with you and talking about your journey. So we'll walk and talk. Let's walk and talk. So Bye. I really want to start out by asking about your partnership with philosophy because I've been a huge fan of philosophy for the past 15 years. So tell me and tell us a little bit about your partnership. So I've had the pleasure and privilege of working with philosophy for the last three years or maybe even longer at this point as their well-being ambassador and I get to speak on behalf of the brand and the beauty is is that my messaging and the the creeds that I stand behind are so lined up yeah. with the brand so that's just a blessing in the, and actually I manifested it because I had uh, on a vision board a hundred years ago the brands that I wanted to work with I and at the that. top of the board was philosophy so I think that this brand has a strong pull absolutely <laughs> so when I heard this I was like oh my gosh it's, it, it completely makes sense it yeah. resonates yeah, yeah, yeah. with you yeah. with philosophy and yeah. everything that's yeah. going on and for, especially for, for the mental health month yes so exactly. what are you doing exactly right now so much is happening right now so um, uh, one of the things is philosophy is coming out with a campaign that's asking people to really get connected to how are you really because we're walking around life all the time how many times do you guys look at your friends and say how are you and you're like fine I'm great I'm good I'm, I'm everything's fine but you're not yeah, we know we're not all point. good and fine you're like, do you have a few minutes what we're talking about yes exactly that's exactly what it is so yeah. so you know the call to action is to just start to ask people how are you really yeah and then people do ask you how you're doing how are you so Jennifer Sorry, how are you really right now how, no, seriously, how joyful are you? you are okay good I'm excited good. I'm happy good, good. yes I can tell you are <laughs> you, know, you can read you can also be joyful and overwhelmed in the sure, same breath, you know, so you can be you can be anxious and excited about yeah. something that's going on in your life. So, uh, you know, I think that we have to just be real about what's happening and that's why I'm so pumped about this. I really love that because your message is really about being true and being really uniquely in your moment and not being ashamed of it. Yeah. So, let me just also go back a little bit. So, yeah, this is your fifth book, right? The this one is my fifth book, back. yes. Okay. So, your message is always about being true and being honest and not being ashamed of our personal struggles and our journeys because totally. I feel like I've had my own. <laughs> I've yeah. had plenty of my own. Yeah. Um, being a business owner, being a grown woman, um, going through life and there's sometimes those moments of, oh my God, I'm embarrassed. Like yeah. I'm, I know I shouldn't be, but I'm like, wow, I've had some struggles like everyone else does. But sometimes you want to hide it. Yeah. But I think the best the best point is when you can release it and say, this is what happened to me yeah. and I'm okay with it. And when you share it, that's when you yeah. really can tell your own story and then you really, yeah. other people can relate to what you're going through. I think that's why the new book, The Universe Has Your Back, has probably been my most successful book because it's the one that I get the most honest yeah. and yeah. to share my shame and share my struggles and yeah. share things that, to be honest, I actually hadn't shared until I wrote them. Isn't that and interesting? So, yep, and then that's the book that blew up and it's the one that how people are resonating that? with. Can I ask you, like, how hard was it really like write that down and be like, I'm, I'm like putting it all out I think there. it's harder not to. Yeah. I think we have to just be real. It's, it's a great point. Not, it's harder not to. Well, I have another question for you about business. So, when you started your, when you wrote your first book, did you actually think this would become a business? Or would you just like, I'm just going to write the first book? Oh, I was already, I was already... You already like, had the website for right? like three years okay. before my book came out. I was speaking publicly, so right away when I, like when I was 25, I started doing motivational motivational talks, Got it. and so I it really was my business. I was co life coaching at the time before anybody knew what a life coach was. I was doing these talks. Um, you were like the then, original life coach. Well, no, <laughs> definitely not. There are people that came before me, but for my but, for our generation, exactly. Like for this like Gen Xer, that you know millennial that was like kind of looking for their happiness in their shoes. I was like, sure. how about we try meditating? And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think that- I you're think good, that, Lindsay. No, you're good. We're gonna go down that way, Lindsay. Lindsay, Lindsay. It's okay, no, you're, you're totally fine. <laughs> you're totally so, fine. So, um, yeah, that's, you know, that's kind of, but because I was speaking so much, people wanted, they'd come to these talks and then they were like, you know, I've got this great opportunity to, you know, be inspired in this room, but what do I do when I leave here? And so they, I was being required of me to write a book. It was required of me. Interesting. Yeah, I had to kind of give people the methods to leave and go home with. Well, in that too, because that's hard, I would think, well, maybe it's not, maybe back, let me back that up. Maybe it's not hard, but also, like, how do you find 
your quiet time to really, because there's so many people asking of your energy and asking for your knowledge, and how do you then find time for you to be at peace with that? Like, how do you find the, the strength to kind of say, okay, I can I can keep going, and because I know you have down days like yeah. anyone else, so yeah. how do you then get through those down days? I think, you know, for the first decade of my career, I wasn't taking much time. I was trying to, I was trying to get more, uh, I obviously had a very strong meditation practice all throughout my career. Okay. That's what I teach. But yeah. I was also really burning the candle at all ends. And sure. in the last two and a half, two years, I've learned how to fully take time for myself, create more boundaries. And ironically, the less I've been doing, the more successes yeah, I've had. Funny. So yeah, it's it been amazing. In interesting ways. It really it? does. When it really you... does. And especially, I mean, I think I created enough momentum that I could step back and just yeah. um, let life take over. That's kind of nice because yeah. that's when the magic happens, I believe. Yeah. Do you feel like also taking some time out of New York has helped New York City? Yes, I live 70% of the time in the country. <laughs> and I, I get that. I and understand. it's changed my whole life. And I um, am making that my, my, my home. And yeah. I love the city and I love, love, love that I'm privileged to be able to spend 30% of the time living here and working here. Yep. But uh, for me, energetically, the nature was what my being was calling for, and totally it's that. changed my life as a result of living there. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's totally. Why I, 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 this is great. It feels so good. Being Lindsay, let me steer you this way a little bit. Sorry, I know we're zigzagging in a little different That's ways. Okay. But this is why like, I really find my my tranquilness, my serenity, my, my inspiration to keep doing um, different parts of work is always starting here. This is yeah. like the root of my place to keep going. Yeah. So yeah, we need to spend more time in nature. If, you know, if, it's, if you're in a city, get into your local park. Yes. You have to, you have to, you have to. I know, it's and it's, it's, I think it is mandatory. Because you speak to so many different kinds of women and, and men, but are, you're mostly your tar or you speak to women, correct? Yeah, I mean, the message is for everybody, but I think that a lot of people that are drawn to personal growth and spiritual practices initially yeah. is more of a broad female audience. Sure. Uh, but these days, it's men, women, I mean, it's kind of everybody. Yeah. This stuff. yeah. So what do you think it resonates the most with people? Is it, some, is it a certain practice? Is it a certain type of meditation? Is I it... think people are resonating most with the, the fact that they can take their well-being into their own hands. And, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I think like so many people are looking. Instead of they're like trying really to find grabbing. something outside of themselves, sure. and a lot of all of what I teach is sort of is is how mm -hmm. to find that sense of certainty and safety from a spiritual foundation and from a spiritual relationship with your own understanding. Yeah. So I'm not trying to tell people this is the way to be on a spiritual path. I'm just cracking people open to establishing what that means to them, and that's been I think very refreshing for folks. Like I it doesn't have to be one way. You're so right, and I'm, I love hearing you speak on this because it is so unique. Everyone is built in a different way where I find my my peacefulness again, my my voice always comes from when I'm here. Yeah. Um, and this is where I find my time to meditate or just yeah. be one with myself and my thoughts to say, okay, what do I need today? What do I need right. to also produce in this day to make it better for people around me? Mm -hmm. Actually, my question to you also about this in terms of people you surround yourself with, how important are your friendships with other, whether women or men, or the people you surround yourself with every day? Like, what is that for you? What it's does that look the like? The most important yeah. thing for me is to be surrounded by people who elevate me yes. and who have the same beliefs that I have and sure. the same. I, listen, I spend most of my time with my husband. We work together. We live together. We live, work together 24-7. We're sure fun. It's fantastic. It's yeah. so awesome. And it works because we are meditators. We are on the same, we are on our own spiritual path. We have, sure. we both have the same beliefs of how we want to show up in the world. Yep. So the fact that we carry the same belief system makes it so easy and and right. elevating to be together so often. And the same yes. goes for my friends, is to be able to have that kind of connection with my friends. See? I think it's so important because going through life, we, in our 20s and 30s or whatever, we always kind of see our friendships evolving into different forms. And some people come and go. But it's, I think, uh, as I become older, I'm so thankful for those women that are my unit 
that I would surround myself with and women that I've grown with and might not live close to me. Yeah. But I know I can call them in a moment's notice and yeah. say, Can you talk for five minutes? And yeah. they would be there. Yeah, you have to have that sister. It's fantastic. And yeah. I, I hear about a lot of women that are struggling with other women in, in mm -hmm. life or in business. And I always wonder, like, how does that, how? Because I just, mm -hmm. I don't see that in my daily life. Mm -hmm. So when I hear about these women that are just, uh, fighting with one another, I'm like, oh my gosh, you need to get some new people around you just yeah. to really yeah. <laughs> experience the joy of It's so important great to have friendships. a sisterhood. I like to call it spiritual running buddies. Yes, have people I that like are that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, uh, what are you working on next? I have a new book that I've submitted to my publishers. It's out oh in January. Gosh, another one. <laughs> she doesn't book, stop. Six um, book. Called, the Judgment, called Judgment Detox. Okay. And I'm actually just on a tight deadline to get a subtitle. Wow. So, uh, but it's really about, maybe we'll find the subtitle while we talk about it right now. But yeah, exactly. it's, it's really about finding, returning to our connection to others and uh, really just choosing to change the way we experience our lives yeah. through the clearing of our judgmental thought patterns and behaviors. And so when we change our experience of the world, our world begins to change. Oh, that makes sense lot of sense yeah we can actually even just stop right here for a second so we can kind of whatever but I think that's really really important that book in itself because like everything you're doing everything you talk about it's so important not just for people in general but businesses and people because I talk a lot about your uniqueness especially in business and how you can stand out and how you have to be real with your customers and your clients and your staff and once you're one-on-one -on -one with your staff that's when they grow and they yeah. flourish because I remember I had a huge team when I had my first company. So when I first met you, I was selling off my business, and it was a really hard time for me to like, I'm letting go of like, the biggest part of my life. Yeah. It was really hard because these people were my family. Yeah. And all of yeah. a sudden, I'm like, I'm letting go. Almost like it was an identity crisis for yeah. me because I was no longer a business owner. I was no longer like a mom to all these people. Yeah. And I, I left. I left like a thousand miles away. So I had to become. Who was I to become next? Yeah. So I think your next book really relates to yourself. Yeah. One group field, but a whole bunch of different Yeah, I agree. So what else are you doing with philosophy next? Well, right now, I am spending the day with my philosophy family. Yay! We love the philosophy family. We're standing them. on the other side of the camera over there. And we love, we love you. <laughs> we love and, philosophy. Um, and I've, I'm also on the steering committee for the Philosophy Hope and Grace Initiative. And so fantastic. what's fantastic about this is that they are giving 1% of their U.S. net proceeds to Great. women's mental health programs and, and nonprofits. And so, it's yeah. a privilege to erase the shame around mental Absolutely. health and to really just be a voice for uh, people just, just being real about what's going on. And that's so important because a lot of people that are watching this are my old customers, my first business, and we sold philosophy for years. Yeah. And we loved, I still love philosophy, it's one of my favorite brands out there because of the messaging. Yeah. Because it was real that's right. and that's, it continues. And I love to see brands growing into the mindset of what's important in life. Totally. I think it's so, so great. Any other final thoughts or words? Because I know how busy you are. Go out in nature. <laughs> get, some, get some fresh air, people. Get go outside. Go get some fresh air. Yeah, yeah that's definitely it. This was wonderful. I'm so excited. I got to go for I know. A walk. Okay, so your new book just came out. This it came out in October. October. The universe, uh, universe has your back. Okay. Yep. And then the next one's out in January. And your Instagram handle is Gabby Bernstein. Gabby Bernstein. Yeah. And Facebook, of course, Gabby Bernstein. Yeah. And I want to say thank you. Thank you. This was such a gift. Oh, it's so good to be with you. That's why friendships are important to support each other and, of course, love each other and grow with one another and also follow and help and yeah. uplift everybody. So thank you for continuing your message and helping so many people really feel good about themselves and not feeling shame. So that's really important. Yeah. And thank you, Philosophy, for bringing the love. Philosophy, we love I you. I go to ask your friends, how are you really? How that's are you really? That's a great message today. Great message today. Really? Thank you guys for watching. And if you'd like to share, we'd love for you to share this message to everybody on Facebook. And thanks again for tuning in. Till next time, Bye. see you later.